So, here it is. And look, I've done some work uh, to it. Uh, I haven't been away from the house every day, but m most days. And, um, you know, what I've actually done, and I haven't filmed, uh, because it's you know, much of the, the same thing as the last big build I, I did. There's not a lot of difference, actually. Uh, even down to the wiring, it's all pretty well exactly the same. And I don't want to repeat myself and get boring. So, anyway, the, uh, the houses or standoffs that I, I made 3D printed. Well, here they are. There's one here, one on the back. Uh, didn't require one for this, just a nice healthy 10mm aluminium plate that I mounted up the top there. And I've been, you know, running cabling and uh, hooking up the new SMC. And, uh, you know, nothing's tuned in, it's very rough at the moment. I haven't even got limit switches on it. Uh, I've got limit switches uh, ready to put on, which I picked up yesterday. So I'm sort of going to make black bracketry for that um, and, and position them uh, in, in three on the three axes. Um, nothing, nothing dramatic, you know. Nothing sort of that I haven't filmed before. So, uh, like I say, I don't want to bore anybody. But um, like I say, nothing is tuned in. Uh, I did last night I did switch it on and check to make sure everything was actually working uh, and it is no no hassles there um, in fact I'll I'll switch it on I better plug it in first like I say it's, it's a bit you know it's, it's not tuned in at all it's a bit jittery, <laughs> as in, you know, the motors aren't tuned in or anything like that. Um, all right. Uh, a little bit of this. Yep, that's up. A little bit of that. And a little bit of that. So, reset, turn on, oh, a bit faster than that. So you can see it all works. And it is it. That's actually operating in reverse and so is the Y opposite operating in reverse. So uh, we'll turn this off a second just to verify that. So Y. Yeah, it's running a bit fast. Let's uh, let's slow the feed rate down. Yeah. So that's what happens when nothing's tuned in. Okay, it's running, you know, really, really fast. Z. Yeah, you press the press the down on the Z and it goes up. So um, you know that's all going to be altered in the controller, and I will make a dedicated video on altering all these things. Uh, what I will just quickly touch on is I've had so many people ask me how to connect the VFD up to either Mark III or a Mark III board or the SMC. Now, every VFD is possible to be different. Every manufacturer 
has their own way of doing it and the VFT needs to be reprogrammed. Now you really need to follow your manual that comes with your VFT. So I can only show you how to do it with my particular one. Okay? The chances of you having the same one is, is limited. So you, you need to, you know, sort of really consult your manual and it will tell you in there uh, what adjustments to make on the on the VFD programming and it should tell you how to wire it up as well you know I, I it's impossible for me to show you how to wire up every uh, different type of VFD all right but I will show you how I've got mine um, hooked up Okay, so let's open, open it over there, open this up. Um, let's just make sure you can see here. I so say it's not exactly finished yet. We're uh, in the process of, you know, sort of getting it all hooked up. Let's get a bit of light. So you can see here, now, that red one there and that green one there, okay? The green one is the earth to, or ground to this board, or this part of the board. Uh, and this hooks up down in the VFD. Now this is the 5 to 10 volt uh, this this pin here, so, sorry, zero, zero to ten volt um, supply or signal. Okay, so this will give um, zero RPM to 20, 24, 24,000 or 22,000? 22,000. Um, but this part of it isn't switched on inside the controller yet, uh, but obviously it will be. So, also, uh, there's a ground here, that one there, and you see there's two leads going into that. So, that's supplying a, a ground to the limit switches and also a ground to the other components down in the uh, in the electrical box down below so we'll we'll go down there and have a look I'll have to go uh, I'll have to catch hold of the camera and uh, hold it for you so you can see what I'm talking about down there okay I'm actually lying on the floor now <laughs> which is a bit cold so if I can hold this and do some explanation at the same time I put the book in here might be able to see it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Now, you have the mains coming in, which is positive, negative, and earth over here. Okay. That's uh, 240 volt in. Now, you have the three connections okay for the spindle motor which is uh, that one that one and that one which go up to the spindle obviously now these are the ones that people are concerned about now if i can bring this in here as well i hope you can see that it's not a very good photograph So, uh, you can freeze frame this if you like, uh, and get a better view, but this is a, a Mark III board actually, and you can see the connections here, so the 0 to 10, that's the earth that goes to the back of the SMC in this case, uh, and you, you can see where the earth comes from, for that one, okay, because there's several different earths. Or, or grounds 
So there's two grounds that come out of here, but it's actually on the same terminal. And you'll notice what I did. Uh, I took uh, one lead out of out of the back of the SMC, which was a ground. Um, took it to this terminal, uh, which is the X ground. Uh, nothing to do with X, as in uh, axes, but they, they just call it an X ground. And then I just looped it over to go to forward. Uh, so it's, in other words, this forward. Um, is turned on permanently because that's what you do with CNC routers uh, and the 0 to 10 volt then comes in off the 0 to 10 terminal as it does in the SM5 so it's fairly simple for my particular uh, VFT and of course you you know you have to uh, follow your manual that comes with the VFD uh, to actually alter the programming of the VFD. Okay. So this is the one that I'm interested in personally. Uh, I had this sort of setup on the smaller CNC router that I made. Now this is a 10k pot. Uh, what's known as a 10k pot just has three connections uh, 0 to 10 uh, ground and this is a signal in to the VFD so this is the 10 volt supply this is the signal supply so all this does is vary the voltage from 0 to 10 to give it uh, you know its uh, range from 0 RPM through to 24,000 um, this is only used if you uh, put it on something like a, a CNC milling machine where you do require the threading um, for the motor to turn backwards. Um, and then again, um, like I, I did on my VFD, I just linked the, uh, what is this, X ground through to forward. Okay, that's all this is doing, in fact. Uh, but with the VFD operated through a Mac 3 board or the, v the um, SMC, it does require earth back to the controller board. Uh, so, and, and I'm probably going to do this. Um, I'll just take you to over here, if you don't mind wheezing around. So, the smaller one, there's a 10k pot on it down there uh, and that's how I had that one originally working before I changed it to work through the SMC so that's how I originally set the smaller um, CNC router up to, to operate via a variable control um, and when I swapped it to the SMC controller I wasn't altogether happy with it, having to sort of control it through the the uh, the SMC, or even uh, you know uh, if I was using Mac 3, uh, controlling the spindle through Mac 3 itself. I much prefer to have total control external of an operating system. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this one actually, although I do have it connected up um, via the VFD, I can actually switch that circuit on and off by the, the use of uh, switching the, you know, the output of this on or off. Um, so I, I think that's probably what I will eventually do, is uh, put a, a 10k pot on here uh, and, a, and a switch so uh, you know I have total c control external of the controller that's my preference okay so I've shown you the two methods now of doing it to my particular VFD all right uh, and I'm sure you read on here as well I don't know how it's going to be overexposed but yes it would be but it says um, in the programming 
to alter the settings in the VFD of my particular one. Um, the P it doesn't make much sense either, actually, but it says um, P00.01 uh, set up to 1. Uh, no, I don't know whether that's 0 0.01 or 0 0.1. I'll find out whether it'll work or it won't. Uh, then it says um, P07, which is another uh, quite a way up the um, the, the registry. Um, alter from 0 0.08 to 3. Okay. So yeah, you know it's it's Chinglish, but uh, you know you and you really can't afford to get this wrong either. But in this case what it will do if you get the wrong number here it will either operate via the little pot on the front of the front of the VFD or it won't that's the only things it it alters it just switches where it gets its signal from um, but yes I will uh, probably uh, end up Getting the 10k pot and putting on here and running the VFD separately. That's my preference.